In Creo Parametric 10.0, there have been a couple enhancements to patterns of patterns and dimension patterns, and I think they're going to have some interesting ramifications. Those two enhancements are that you can now create a pattern with only one instance, and when you create a pattern of a pattern, you can increment that number of instances dimensions. So let's take a look at that. Here I have a simple part model. I've got an extrude with a hole. I want to pattern the hole. So I'm going to pick it and then from the mini toolbar, I can choose the pattern command and it automatically defaults to the dimension pattern option. You can see that I have the different dimensions on the computer screen. Let's zoom in over there. I have the diameter of the hole and then the two different dimensions for locating the hole with respect to the model. I'm going to choose to increment this dimension and I'll use an increment, I'm gonna keep it small, I'm gonna use a value of 25, but I'm going to change the number of members to just one instance. In other words, just have the original hole. So then I'll hit the check mark. You can see my pattern and I can expand it in here. It's just got the one instance. But now when I click on the pattern and choose the pattern command, well, we have an additional dimension available to us. It is the number of holes that are going to be created. So for creating my pattern, let me choose this dimension. It's one that I want to increment. I'll use a value of 25, and then I will hold down the control key and select this dimension as well. And the default value for the increment is one. I will leave that as a value of one. And let's increase the number of members. I'll choose 30. Let me zoom out a little bit so you can see the entire part. Oh, it looks like I can go a little bit higher than that. You know what, let's change this to a value of 50 just to spread it out along the part. Now I will hit the check mark. And the pattern is created. So you see that we have control over the number of instances. And so there's some other interesting things that you can do with this. Let's go back to the pattern and I will edit definition. And here I have my increment for the number of instances. As I showed in the last video, you can use a relation to define them. Now I will choose the edit button and we have our tip over here for the symbols that we can use in our relation like IDX1, the number, or excuse me, the instance index in the first direction, IDX2, the instance index in the second direction, and then other ones like member underscore I and member underscore V. So let's create a more interesting looking relation for driving the number of instances. I'm going to write that member underscore V. This is going to be equal to, oops, let me use a few more spaces. I like lots of spaces in order to make things easy to read. Let's use that. We want this to be the sign of IDX1. And in this case here, since I have a total of 30 members, I want sign to go from a value of zero to 360. Well, I'm going to multiply IDX by a value of 12. And then for the amplitude, let's multiply this whole thing by a value of, say, 20. And so this is good. One other thing that you might want to use for these different relations that you write for the different instances are a couple of functions for rounding. Now, this is automatically going to round to a whole number. But if you want to control that rounding, well, if you go to the F of X button, there are a bunch of additional functions available to you for using. And one of those functions is CEIL, which is the ceiling. In other words, round up. And there's another one for floor, which allows you to round down. So for this first situation, I'm going to type that in manually. Let's put it at the front here. I'm going to use ceiling to begin with seal and then open parentheses and then let me add in oops i accidentally added a floor in here there we go so here i have my relation that i'm using i can hit the check mark to make sure that i didn't make a mistake like having a uh, odd number of parentheses let me choose the ok button and now i will hit the check mark and the pattern is being generated you can see that in this particular situation, we have a single sine wave here. 
hey, let's try making one other modification to this. I'm going to go to edit definition and then select the relation and then edit. And so if I change the numbers in here, we can end up getting more instances. Like, for example, if I choose 24 and then let's increase the amplitude of this one to 30, and I'll choose the OK button and then I'll middle mouse button to increase the number of instances. I accidentally zoomed out a little bit. And so here we have two different sine waves going on in here. All right, let's go back to the relation. I'm just going to show you that you can add even more complexity to the level of the relations. Oh, actually, let me cancel back out of here for a second. I want to show you that the minimum value in this case is one. You will always get one instance, even though with the sine curve, it wants to dip negative. But anyhow, let me edit definition and go back to the relation and edit it. And I'm going to get rid of what I have in here. And rather than type it out manually, I have a relation that I'm just going to copy and paste into the editor here. So let me go into here, control V. So you can also use if then else structures with your relation. So I have that if the index number is less than a certain value, hey, we're going to get a sine wave at the beginning, which will give us a peak. If it is greater than that value, well, it's going to subtract a value from the IDX number in order to get a second wave, sine wave starting over. So let's click the OK button. And just for this one, I'm going to increase the number of instances by a value of one. By the way, in that relation, I used floor instead of ceiling. Let's hit the check mark. And there we have our number of instances created. So again, by these two different enhancements, by being able to create a pattern with one instance and also increment the number of instances as one of the dimensions in a dimension pattern, there's a lot more control that you have over your patterns. And it'll be interesting to see how people make use of this in the years coming forward.